What an experience this film is. My word. The Master is the new film by Paul Thomas Anderson, who many might refer to as a master director in his own right. It stars Joaquin Phoenix, Philip Seymour Hoffman, and Amy Adams. Joaquin Phoenix plays someone who, in one word I could describe as insane. He has an extreme, unhealthy even, desire for women. Think Michael Fassbender in shame. And he's basically just drifting around from job to job, getting kicked out of places, starting fights. He eventually stumbles across this yacht, with Philip Seymour Hoffman on there, and Philip Seymour Hoffman is giving these speeches, you know, about this cause that he's involved with. Human processing and enlightenment and whatnot, and he gets really drawn into this world to the point where they create this bond with one another that leads to all different types of dramatic problems, and some of the best performances I have seen all year. The Master is a film that definitely requires multiple viewings for you to latch onto it fully. There are whole layers behind this film that you are not going to understand, relate to, and you're gonna be sitting there scratching your head on the first viewing. And it's gonna take more than one viewing for me to fully grasp this film. Nevertheless, I still think it is a great movie. The performances in this movie are insanely good, literally. They are insanely good. Joaquin Phoenix, is someone else, I swear, he's someone else right now. He's, he did something, he took something, he injected himself with something. He is nuts in this movie, he is nuts. He is insanely nuts. He is completely 100% Oscar worthy though. This is probably the best performance I've seen all year. I just, he is so good. Philip Seymour Hoffman is just as good and the scenes they have together where they face off with each other, where they have dialogue, are mind-blowingly well done. These guys are Oscar caliber, firing on all cylinders, just giving amazing performances. Of course, the film looks incredibly good. I mean, the framing in this movie and the use of focus, dear Lord, the use of focus in this movie is insane. I mean, the film just looks so, so good. Now, a lot of people have said that the movie is in a way, perhaps depicting the beginning of Scientology, and I believe that to be true because it's pretty obvious. They're not calling it Scientology, it's called The Cause. Philip Seymour Hoffman's character is not called Ron Hubbard as the founder of Scientology is. I'm not gonna get into the whole debate of that because that's not really talking about the quality of this film on a technical level, on a performance level, and on a substance level is off the chart. Now I do have a few small issues with the film and I'll explain them. Now some people may not view this as an issue or a problem. I do though. I think it's a little bit of a flaw sometimes when you can't at least fully grasp a film on the first viewing. Yes, certain films like 2001 A Space Odyssey, a lot of these movies like that, you just you feel like I need to watch that again. But that doesn't mean you didn't understand it the first time. Because there are aspects of the way The Master concluded that left me a little cold. And it was simply because I had a hard time grasping the finale of the film and exactly what took place. It's one of those movies that you want to go on the IMDb message boards. And I love that about movies. But my only flaw with this movie is that aspect of it, where I wanted to be able to grasp more of the finale. Nevertheless, this is a must-see movie if you love movies. It's very well written. It looks beautiful. The performances are so good. I'm going to give The Master an A-. It's not my favorite Paul Thomas Anderson film. That would probably be There Will Be Blood. I really enjoy it, though, and it's definitely worth a watch. I'm looking forward to seeing it again. So if you get a chance to see The Master, if it comes to a theater near you, check it out, but be sure to bring your thinking caps in because it's definitely the kind of movie where you are going to want to pay attention to every frame. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and as always, if you like this, and you can click right here and get stuckmanized.